Ladies and gentlemen, the picture ceasefire was taken in Korea when I was the commander in chief in the Far East. I know you'll be impressed as I was with this accurate and authentic film which portrays the rugged and heroic role of the infantryman on the field of battle. I want to take this opportunity to thank you mothers and fathers in the audience who had sons in Korea and mothers and fathers all over America who sent their wonderful men to me. Never did a commander have more to be proud of than I in having these splendid men in my United Nations command. As chief of the Army Field Forces before I went to Korea, it was my responsibility to train our Army. It was not an easy job to take your sons and mine out of our homes where they had enjoyed the blessings of America and put them up against this unscrupulous foe that we found in the mountains of Korea. But I know that when you've seen this picture, you'll agree with me that they carried out their missions in magnificent style. We had to make our men tough in order that they could go up against this treacherous foe who conformed to none of the rules of international warfare, who killed our wounded as they lay on the field of battle and tortured our men in the hell holes they called the prisoner of war camps. It was my job as the commander-in-chief of the Far East to sign the armistice, and I was mighty glad to stop the killing. But I knew that aggression might come again unless we remained strong. I know from my experience with the communists that they respect force and they despise weakness. So it is absolutely essential that the countries of the free world and my country keep up their guard, keep up their determination to the end that we will keep the blessings and the privileges that we hold so dear in our beloved America. Korea is a very old country. Its recorded history goes back some 4,000 years. Its founder, a mysterious and mythical leader named Tangoon, said, this is the land of the morning calm. The GIs who have more recently been here express their opinions in somewhat less gentle and poetic terms. Korea was among the first lands to use gunpowder. 
many recurring wars and invasions have marked its history. But war or no war, on this morning, as they have always done, the farmers were working in their fields. The GIs were on their way to work, too. On this day, there was work of still another sort to be done. And men were flying in a whirling machine to a place called Panmun Jam, where 574 meetings had been held with the enemy in the hope for peace. news today? Did the world end? How do you like this? I won my bet with Hardy. I think it stinks the better what's happening here. Listen, I've seen peace born and die a half a dozen times since the first time at Versailles to the last time here, when I saw the peace dove plucked clean. You should be writing the old bit column. It's the only thing you like to see is a funeral. You ought to be doing fairy tales, because you believe in Chinese fairy tales. After three years of bitter fighting, enemy hopefully meets enemy in the peace camp at Pan Mujam. It is a quiet day at the front with only limited patrol activity. Quiet day. I wonder how the boys up in the hills would write that line. Shells are too darn close. I thought this was the day the war was supposed to be over. They ought to tell those guys down at Pan Moon John, man. Somebody ought to tell those commies.
That's a tough break any time, but on the last day... Fire is still coming in, but I think I've spotted the enemy battery. Fire mission, battery one round. We'll adjust. Roger. Sergeant Easy Company's still getting shell. Let's give him another volley. Yes. Fire mission! Battery adjust! Squadron six! Stand by. Battery. Fire! Repeat range. Fire for effect. Cease fire. End of mission. Mission completed. Battery annihilated. Out. Pressure's off, men. Relax. Take it easy. Go ahead, Kim. They say they don't know, Lieutenant. Are you sure they know the hill we're speaking of? So, what about Hande Maraji? You want to watch you? There was a book for him. Morgis Mida. They say they didn't come from Red Top. Could they be lying? No, sir. They are deserters. They've been hiding out in the hills. We'll send Guskowski out with them. Drone, pick some more up. Guskowski? Take five men out in front of the MLR and find us two more chinks that'll be more cooperative than these two. Yes, sir. Anything new on Pamela and John? Haven't heard. Lieutenant Thompson. Yes, Elliot? Guskowski lost a couple of men due to a shell fragment. He's gonna need a replacement, sir. That's right. Send Willis. Hey, bad news. Come here. We're taking bad news. Every time he goes out, we have to carry somebody back. He comes back under his own power. You heard what the lieutenant said. On your feet, move out. Lieutenant, I have a message from battalion. You think it's good news, sir? That'll be all. Oleg Guskowski, you can forget that mission. Forget it? E Company's moving off the hill. Yes, sir. Get your weapons and equipment and come down. Taking us off the line without even a replacement. That's what the man said. I don't get it. What are we waiting for? Maybe the war's over. Well, let's go! Hey, Cozy, you think your wife will recognize you when you get home? Maybe not my face. Order, what's the first thing you're going to do when you get home? You don't know, do you? <laughs> I'm gonna write my baby that I'll soon be coming home. I'm gonna write my baby that I'll soon be coming home. I'm gonna write my baby that I'll soon be coming home. I'll be tired and I'll be sleepy and I wanna go to the bed. I'll be tired and I'll be sleepy and I wanna go to bed. I'll be tired and I'll be sleepy and I wanna go to bed. Don't bust up! Don't close it up! Get a five-yard animal! Forget the lieutenant.
lieutenant. He's in a bad mood. With the war over? The war over. He's liable to be lieutenant for the next ten years. Thompson, will you come over here? Yes, sir. Hello, Tom. We've got something for you. Sergeant, move the men across the road. Take a ten-minute break. Yes, sir. Okay, move up. Oh, Donald, move the men over there by those bushes. Right, Sergeant. Go on right down to the other side of the road. Okay, close it up. You see, Tom, Baker Company has already replaced us on the line. We're stretched from here to here. All right, get the lid out of it. That's good. That's good right there. Hold it up. Okay, take ten. Yep, it's a great day. What do you suppose they're going to do with that map? They're trying to find out where to send us, you dope. Hope to send me back to Kansas. Kansas ain't on that map. You know, I wouldn't mind staying around Tokyo for a while. Oh, you can have that, Ginza. Did you ever see that little Japanese butterfly to go out with? That was no butterfly. That was a worm. Ah, uh, says you. Don't forget, I saw her. Keep your seats. Keep your smokes. Sergeant Kemp. Yes, sir. We've had a change in plans. We've got a new mission. Yes, sir. I'll need 13 men, a medic, radio operator, and one NCO. How about me, sir? You'll take charge of the rest of the platoon and move them to company rear. Men, we're going deep to pick up information. There'll probably be a scrap. This isn't exactly what you thought you were coming back here for, but that's the way it is. During the last negotiations at Panmum, John, there was another day like this. A day we thought might be the last day of the war. That's when we got kicked off pork chop and had a lot of casualties. Until we get definite word of a ceasefire, we keep fighting a war. Any volunteers are welcome. Okay, you heard what the lieutenant said. Is this trip necessary? Oh, two volunteers already. Uh, the rest of the patrol be taken from men who haven't been on patrol in the last week. Less the men with 32 points that are going home very soon. We'll take the usual medic and a radio man and the following. Kaskowski. Willis. Oh, no, not bad news. If he's going, that's enough for me. Owens. Straight. Fernansky. Carrasco. Hofleek. Mays. And one more man, Kim. Sergeant, Kim's wife lives down in the village. She's going to have a baby. We'd like to see he gets home. You speak Chinese? I thought not. All right, all the men that have been chosen for the patrol fall in on this side of the road. We've also got all the extra equipment you're going to need in this thing. We've got the grenades, the radio, yeah. the ammunition, and the stretcher. That's fine, sir. Can you think of anything else here now that you may have any questions about? How about artillery support? We got that all laid on for you. I thank you, sir. Kaskowski? Take two men and move that equipment over here in front of the patrol. Okay, each man pick up five grenades and five carbine magazines. Medic, pick up the litter and aid bag. Radio man, check your radio. Elliot, open up those flares. Each rifleman, get two bandoliers. Carrasco, take that name tag off your helmet. Kim, pick that armored vest up and put it on. What am I doing here? We volunteered, remember? Oh, yeah, so we did. I'm surprised Lieutenant let you come along. So am I. What's the story? I guess we just took a look at each other and didn't like what we saw. That all? Goes back quite a ways. On Bali, I was with a lieutenant on a patrol. He gave the orders everybody to lie low till nightfall. I said to heck with that. 
I wasn't going to lie there with my face in the dirt, so I charged the goonies with a grenade. Since then, he wouldn't let me go on any patrol. All right, men, move over there for a briefing. Hayes, are those magazines full? Yes, sir. I'm loaded. Hold it up there. Now, this is the plan. This is Red Top. Battalion wants to know what's up there. We're going to find out. There's a mountain here, and here, and here. And this is our present location. We'll move back around the edge of these hills and mountains toward the peak of Red Top. Before we reach the hills, artillery will clobber this mountainous area to drive out any enemy observation posts on top that might spot us. When we reach this point, we'll radio for the artillery fire to lift and let us through. Sir, why couldn't we stay up on the hill? We've been so far to walk back. That was part of the plan, to make the enemy think we're pulling out for good. As we leave the lines, we'll work our way up through the valley to the west slope of Red Top. From there, we'll move to the top. Some trenches have been observed here. If these are occupied, we'll take prisoners. Don't you think this is kind of rude of us, Lieutenant? Those boys are working so hard at Pam and John. We don't want to do anything to make them mad at each other. I know what you men are thinking, and I know how you feel. But the truce talks have been going on for a long time. We can't afford to relax. And one thing more. I expect every man to follow my orders to the letter. If one man goes off on his own, he risks not only his own life, but the lives of every man on the patrol. Let's get started. Okay, move out. There's 60 bucks in here. Take out the 10 I owe you. And don't lose the rest. Okay. schedule. We don't have any compass that tells if a train comes from the north or from the south. We lay down shells in them hills to drive off enemy observers, and here he goes shooting his mouth off. What do you think you're doing? He's an old friend of my family, Lieutenant. That's a good way to get a bullet in the back. Sorry, Lieutenant. You might need this. Thank you.
facing the dangers shoulder to shoulder we're brothers in arms Why someone don't tell the lieutenant? Them shells getting close. Great half a tonny lit that fire. Yes, sir. Uncle one, Uncle one. This is Uncle two. Over. Lieutenant Thompson, your partner's suggestion. Our terrorists probably forced the chinks out of the hills. If you lift that fire, they'll be back before we can get through. That's right. Forget that message. Yes, sir. Up there, that canyon could be a way through our barrage. It might work. Then, it's important we get to Red Top without being observed. There's a gap up there we can go through. Let's move on. Now we move one at a time. There's less chance that way. Hoplick, you and Owens move up ahead and cover us at the other end. The rest of you men follow me at double intervals. Make it snappy. Send bad news next. I don't want him standing around me. Is that fair to the lieutenant? Send him up with the lieutenant. This was your idea. You go next. Okay. more and we'll be out of this fire. Let's move quickly. like two. It's kind of hard to tell. They must have got a direct hit. This was a Chinese observation post. The question is, did the shell hit after they spotted us and radio back our position, or before? That's a good question. We'll find the answer to that as we move along. <laughs>
집에 김치 부연댁이요? 이 집에 김치 부연댁이요? 네, 일로 들어가세요. 고맙소. 아까 나 김치 논에 가서 김치 만난다 만나서 김치 소스를 전하러 왔어. 그렇습니까? 님께서 대단히 반가워하시겠습니다. 어, 뭐래요? 들어가세요. 저희 계십니다. 김씨가 냉정이가 지나가더라. 그래 뭐라고 그럽니까? 별 말은 없더만 참 되게 미 걱정하더라. 제 걱정은 안 해도 괜찮을걸. 그런데 이 말로 전화할 건다 하러 갑니다. 오래전에도 전쟁이 끝나면 집 돌아 올라갑니다. 그럼 얼마나 좋을까? 나 이제 가봤어. 들어오셔서 음, 참 고맙습니다. 정말에 달려서. sent for me, Colonel? Yes, Brooks. What's wrong with that easy company patrol? I don't know, sir. I haven't heard anything. They're way behind schedule. Look at this. That came down from artillery. They should have received a signal from that patrol two hours ago to lift their fires. That's right, sir. Can I check message center again? Yes. Jones, check to see if there's anything out on Easy Company Patrol. Yes, sir. Sergeant Nathan, is there anything new on that Easy Patrol? Mm-hmm. Got it. Thanks. They just checked in, sir. That's the position of 1430. Good. They're here, sir. They went through the stuff. Thompson must have figured that was the best way to avoid enemy observation. I owe him an apology. They're moving fast. By now they should be about here. What do you suppose is down there? Don't sound like any chink to me. How can you tell? Some of those guys can talk just as plain as anybody. Private Taylor of the King's Regiment, sir. What are you doing way out here? Been on reconnaissance, sir. Been scouting the area. I've got a wounded mate over there, sir. How bad off is he? He's not too bad, sir. I patched him up the best way I could. We'll take a look at him. He got hit about half a mile back. I managed to drag him this far. Lieutenant, could I trouble you for a cigarette, please? Sorry, I don't smoke, but hopefully bring some cigarettes up here. We run out of smokes this morning. It's a bit uncomfortable, especially for him. Thank you. Lieutenant, are you taking your patrol further forward? That's right. Well, all this area is very heavily mined. We've had a lot of casualties. Is there a path through? There's a way through, but it's not marked. Owens, bring the rest of the patrol up. Yes, sir. Lieutenant, if you'll lend me one of your men to help me get my mate back to the dressing station, I'll show you through the minefield the best way I can. 
Captain wants a patrol brought forward. We have a couple of British soldiers up there. I have news for someone. We're going through a minefield that isn't marked. I hate those dang things. I mind getting hit if I'm shooting at something. Those things don't shoot. They just blow. Out on patrol one day, my buddy stepped on a mine that blew him 40 feet. Did it hurt him? Corporal, you stay here with this wounded man. Call Elliot in. Yaskowski, we're going through a minefield. Make sure the men understand. Now, remember, every man walks in the footsteps of the man in front of him. I don't want to see any of you clumsy characters get hurt. So walk in those footsteps. Where have you been? Checking the rear, Gus. Well, we got mines. Happy Fourth of July. Lead off, Taylor. Watch your feet, men. Bad news. You getting back. This is where my mate got it, Lieutenant. Hold it up. I'm sorry, but I don't know any further. Thanks a lot for your help, Taylor. Thank you too, sir, for your cooperation. Good luck to you. Same to you, sir. So long, fellas. So long, Joe. Take your bayonets out and clear a path through that field. Start right there. Just file out. Keep your eyes open. Been walking a long time. Don't seem to be getting anywhere. What do you want to hurry for?
I can make it. It wasn't your fault, Eddie. Why don't you call me Bad News, because that's my name. Eddie, there's no such thing as a guy being bad luck. Every time I go near somebody, they get it, hurt or killed. I mean, never nothing, not even a scratch. We've got to make up for lost time. Looks like it might be clear up that way. We'll risk it. Owens, you and Hoplick lead out. And so today, as they have for so long, the correspondents from both sides stand by, still patiently waiting for some decisive news. To these old-timers, many of whom have been here as long as two years, all this must seem like a familiar... Well, there's some activity at one of the tents. I'm going to sign off now and find out what's going on, which I will report to you in my next broadcast. Signing off from Fenlon Jung. Doesn't look good. Why don't you go back and write your lead, Powell? As I predicted, peace negotiations delayed again at Pan Mun Jam. Yeah, guess I will. Hey, Paul, how do you live with yourself? The answer is he finds it pretty hard. I was with him at Versailles, a couple of the other peace conferences, too. He was different then. A little like you, I guess. Young, idealistic. When things didn't work out so well in those places, he sort of blew his top. Got himself fired from two newspapers, disappeared for a while. Then he started the long climb back, but by that time, he was like he is now. Cynical. Disillusioned. Shoot his mouth off? Yep. You got nothing to apologize for, Bateman. Fairy tales. Trying to write them and believe them. Believe them, Bateman. Don't get like me. Trying to pluck out the dove's tail feathers. Look, Powell. They shoot horses when they break their leg. They should do the same thing with war correspondents when they lose hope. if what they're trying to do here flops. Keep right on hoping they won't someplace else.
You can't kill him till you see him. A word to Owens and Wright. Circle around, find out what's up there. Elliot and one turn are under the cliff. Don't you think they have a better chance of getting up there? That's right. Pass the word. Pass the word. Elliot and one turn. Circle around the top of the hill up there. Pass the word to one, Elliot and one turn to go up on a hill. Yeah. The lieutenant says you guys are it. Do thank the lieutenant. What a break. His last attempt's give me a nice, dirty job. Yes, he's made us both very happy. What happened? Lieutenant, you'll be glad to hear we're real uncourageous. We shot him in the back. How many were there? Two. How's the wounded man? He didn't make it. Assemble the patrol. Right, right. He's here now, Captain. I'll check with you later. S2 has an unconfirmed reconnaissance report that indicates a large enemy force is moving down in this area. That easy company patrol should be just about there now, sir. I know. Get the radio operator on duty. This is Bearcat 6. 
Contact Easy Company Patrol and give them this message. Uncle One, Uncle One, this is Uncle Two, over. Uncle One, this is Uncle Two. Hi, Roger, your last transmission. Out. Lieutenant Battalion Headquarters has an unconfirmed report. 300 Chinese moving down this way. They want to keep her eyes open. Assemble over that trench. There it is. That's red top. It's kind of an uncomfortable looking mountain too, ain't it? As you probably heard, there may be trouble. Battalion thinks there's a large number of chinks in this area. Just for fun, couldn't we get Pam One John on the radio? We'll leave a support group here. They'll cover us till we reach the objective. Then cover our withdrawal. How many men are you gonna leave behind, Lieutenant? We'll leave four, including Hofling, and we'll leave the medic with him. That means Kim will carry the litter. Lieutenant Thompson, it might be that some of us would rather go and others stay here. Why not ask for volunteers, like you did when we first started out? I'm one. Hill climbing's good for the waistline. That's the same way I raised my hand when he got me in this army. Very well. This is the way we'll do it. Owens, you'll have to stay here. You'll be in charge. Right? You're the best shot. You'll cover us. Any questions? Willis, get Wright's rifle and grenade launcher and two bandoliers. Doc, give Kim your aid bag. Check and make sure the morphine's in it. Maintain silence. Watch me for signals. cover up there. So let's try to make it without being spotted. Let's get over in the ravine.
Uncle One, this is Uncle Two. Over. Uncle One, this is Uncle Two. Sighted approximately 300 Chinese moving southwest. That's grid coordinates 335665. Over. Uncle One, I say again. <laughs> to wonder any longer whether there's anything up on Red Top. Uncle One, did you read my last transmission? Uncle One. Sir, the radio's knocked out. Leave it and let's go. Uncle Two, this is Uncle One. Go ahead. Uncle Two, this is Uncle One. Have you broken contact? That's all, sir. That's plenty. Get through the battalion. Red Six. Red Six. Roger, I read you. We'll repeat. Enemy force moving down. Get me Bayonet Six. Bayonet Six. General Trudeau, sir, we have an urgent message from that Easy Company patrol. They're requesting fire on that group of enemy out near Red Top. Right. What artillery have we got that you can put on it? Sir, I have two battalions of artillery registered in that area, and we have a platoon of tanks on the MLR that can fire in that area also. Good, Captain Turner. Give him the works. Yes, sir. Fine. What about air? Sir, there's no air over the division sector at present. However, there is an air alert over the adjacent division. Right. Well, you call JOC right away, Captain Stevens. I know General Anderson will give us everything he's got. Roger, Stevens. Uh, stand by and let me check with A3. Say, Davis, I've got a call here from Red Cap G3 Air. A patrol has observed approximately 300 troops in the open in the vicinity of Charlie Terror 335665. An observation plane has confirmed this report, and they, at the present time, have it under surveillance. We'd like to have 12 aircraft. Uh, can you hack it? We have a Wonder 30, which will arrive in 10 minutes. Also a flight of four F-84s, and I believe the Navy has some flights coming in now. Navy? Yes, sir. Do you have any flight coming in the next five, 10 minutes? I have call shot five, four F-9Fs, pre-brief flight inbound to Red Top, be there approximately five minutes. Okay. Tactical Air Control Center, please. General, our aircraft has sighted a column of enemy moving south down the valley. Char 1 Valley? Yes, sir. 49's a strip alert? Yes, sir, it is. Scramble them. <laughs>
have one done. Didn't get that message. We're in trouble. How many on Red Top, Lieutenant? Looks like an outpost of the main force in the valley. Maybe 15 or 20. Whatever it is, that's our job. <laughs> Don't come here. I'll pull the pin and blow us both up. Now get moving. Help him take that hill.
We didn't get any prisoners. The heck with that. We took the hill. Looks like it's over down there, too. Look, fellas, I got creased. Now won't be bad luck anymore. Okay, let's get the lieutenant. Where's Kim? Talk about you pulling a grenade on yourself. Wasn't that acting a hero, Lieutenant? Whatever you think, Elliot. You're a stubborn guy, Lieutenant. But I guess that's the way your book is written. I don't know. Maybe there's a place for both of us. Thanks. Guess you fellas haven't heard the news. Cease fire tonight, 10 o'clock. Oh, I knew this was my lucky day. Hey, fellas, did you hear the news? The war is over. killed on the last day of the war. Maybe we'll all be going home soon, huh? All except Kim. He's already home. Hey, how does this sound? After three weary years of fighting, a ceasefire was signed today. Thus was on a quiet day at the front with only limited patrol action. That peace was born again in Korea. And with it, a hope for the future. Peace is born again in Korea. It sounds good. It sounds very good. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to help us produce more compelling historical content like this, please like, comment below, and share this video with fellow history buffs. And of course, be sure to subscribe to help keep history happening.